Two years ago, we were introduced to Strike Vector X for the PC. It revolutionized the game of aerial combat and introduced a lot of brand new ideas. Two years later, and we officially have Rage Quit Corporation's hit PC title on the PS4 under the new title, Strike Vector X. Aerial dogfighting hasn't been present for quite some time, and Strike Vector X sets the bar extremely high for future aerial combat titles for consoles. The game simply looks stunning, and seeing dogfights come to life is exhilarating. Strike Vector X gives a good sense of speed as you fly through the sky, and weapons feel devastating. There's a story that is present on the consoles, which is a new addition to the game, but the lackluster characters and forgettable narrative makes the campaign a hollow experience. Vector's position. Commencing approach. Antonio tells me you're the best pilot for the job. I'm counting on you, Mom. I'll find your contact before the consortium. I promise. The voice acting in Strike Vector X ranges from bad to okay, with none of the cast giving off a memorable part in any scene. Music, on the other hand, does a great job creating excitement as the hard rock riffs combine perfectly with the speed and explosions in the game. Watch the scanners, rookie. We are entering the territory of the Crimson Tear. Strike Vector X is also sporting some major upgrades since being ported for the consoles. For starters, the added campaign mode, while dull, does a good job introducing the player to the basic mechanics of the game. Skirmish mode pits you against all vectors, and the game modes depend on the map you choose to play in. The AI combatants are rather tame, and you'll find yourself annihilating them left and right with ease. There's also no difficulty scaling to speak of, so the solo experience becomes rather dull. Multiplayer, however, is also present in the game, and all the modes from the PC version are present on the consoles. The feeling of soaring through the skies at such a fast pace while gunning down enemy combatants in the first person comes naturally in Strike Vector X. The sheer thrill as you boost through pipes and thin openings and metal bars gives a sense of danger and excitement. Controlling your vector is simple, with a button press turning your hovercraft into a jet. Dogfights are a mixture of high propulsion jet speed to outrun or even surprise your opponents by flying straight for their blind spot or hovering as a helicopter. In short, your vector controls like a traditional shooter. You may outfit your vector to suit your playstyle, and the choices of armaments, though lacking at times, has enough to make the gameplay feel different as you cycle through weapons. Different game modes deliver unique experiences with each playthrough. However, the in-game AI can be continuously dispatched with ease. Multiplayer is the main highlight of the game where going up against other players becomes exhilarating. You can play with up to 12 people at a time, and matches get intense with the sound of explosions and the rush of enemy players flying around the map at mock speeds. Overall, Strike Vector X does a great job creating the sense of combat as you soar through the skies. There's a lot of games that don't usually port well from the PC to consoles, but Strike Vector X does it gracefully. Although there's a solo experience in the game, the dull AI is a rather tiresome experience. Just like the PC version, however, Strike Vector X is best played where it shines the brightest in glorious online multiplayer.